someone sprayed hairspray near me and I ended up in the hospital having to have my heart shocked because I developed an irregular heartbeat from it. Um, another time, my face swelled. Uh, um, my, I lost, like, my hearing was, was gone. My eyes were swollen shut. It, it was um, extremely painful. Multiple chemical sensitivity is a medical condition in which the person has become sensitized to chemical pollutants that are really common in the environment that they used to tolerate, that the general population tolerates, but they now have symptoms provoked because of sensitization. I discovered maybe about 10 years ago that that might be what I had and finally found Dr. Malott in um, 2012, and that's when it was finally diagnosed. And people often talk about, well, what chemicals are you allergic to? It's not an allergy. Antihistamines would not make any difference at all. When people tell me that they don't believe in chemical sensitivity, my immediate response is to say that Medicine is practiced according to science, not according to, to beliefs. It's not a religion. Um, the medical evidence has accumulated over the last couple of decades um, and is, is quite clear that there is a, a change in the nervous system. We see that these people are genetically different with respect to their ability to detoxify chemicals. Things. It's the deodorants, it's the cosmetics, it's the fragrances in your shampoo. Fabric softeners, hand sanitizers, um, even garbage bags are impregnated with scents. Just because you can't smell it anymore doesn't mean they're not there anymore. It just means that you can't smell them because the level is lower. MCS is a recognized medical diagnosis by the Canadian Human Rights Commission. As a result, the people with a diagnosis of, of chemical sensitivity have the right to accommodation, to allow people to work without having symptoms provoked. It makes them much better employees too. I'm supposed to be able to see clients. I can't go to see them because their workplaces aren't sent free. I can't take mandatory training because the locations where the training is not sent free. So all of these things, I can go and do them, but I, I, I have to accept that I'm going to be injured. Unfortunately, the most effective treatment is to stay away from the chemicals that trigger off the symptoms. And that's really easy advice to give and a really hard lifestyle to follow because we live in a chemically contaminated world.